Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again <clears throat> today. What do we have here? We have a video in which we're going to see the Russians, uh, uh, how they call it, uh, thwarting a commando, a Ukrainian commander trained by the British Special Forces to conduct some sabotage um, operations in the Black Sea and in Kherson. And they have a uh, sea drilling rig in the Black Sea. And I'm going to show you an interrogation or an interview with a captured Ukrainian soldier revealing who trained him, how he was taken, where the instructors from Great Britain, what was the goal. Also in the video I'm going to show you the the boat that these guys tried to uh, um, and they used in order to try to um, destroy the rig and uh, conduct sabotage operations. I will have two articles coming from Sputnik. One video I will stop it before uh, a bomb is dropped out of a um, uh, SUV, yeah, UAV, on this military boat of the saboteurs or the special forces of Ukraine trained by the special forces of Great Britain. Again, direct involvement, I think so. So let's get started with this article. First, I have two. Sputnik, three hours ago, UK trained Ukrainian commandos for a ride on a Black Sea sea drill drilling rig, Russia's FSB. So this is where I'm going to have the video. And then the other one is, again from Sputnik, Russia thwarts landing of UK-trained Ukrainian saboteurs in Kherson region. So Kherson region is not where Kiev is. Kherson region is down here by the Dnieper River um, flowing into the Black Sea. So this is Kherson and this, in the, I'm sorry, in this, I was going to Nikolaev, this area. So let's start, I mean, let's continue with the video. A captured Ukrainian soldier has said that UK prepared Ukrainian military for a sabotage targeting the ma ma Marine Station Platform 17 drilling rig in the Black Sea. The Russian Federal Security, Ser Security Services FSB said on Thursday. He's going to comment. He's going to be in, I'm guessing, I don't know. Not in English, let's put it this way, I don't know if he speaks Russian or Ukrainian, but it's going to be translated. Earlier in the day, the FSB said that together with the Defense Ministry thwarted the landing of a UK-trained Ukrainian sabotage groups on the whew, Tendrovskaya Kosa in the Kherson region. So here is the boat. And as I said, I will, let's, uh, I will not uh, leave... I will stop and I will continue later <clears throat> after the, this is uh, taken out. Nothing major, it's just going to be a video, but with YouTube you never know. So this is the deserted boat. And this is how they got the boat. So, okay, and this is, I'm not going to let it go. But you know what's over there. And they show the armament they had. Let me see. Echo. Echo. So these are, I'm guessing, uh, military. Not military. Western weapons are not, are they? It was a kind of like a shooting or is it an explosion? Oh, shooting. And I guess after the explosion, oh, no, they were shooting. So this is a light, obviously. Let me get myself прошел ускоренную медкомиссию, повезли в, э, в областной военкомат, и оттуда мы поехали в Житомирскую область, населенный пункт Скорливка. 
поделили на группы и вывозили в 142 центр сил специальных операций получать вещевое имущество. Когда мы получили вещевое имущество, 15-го у нас была у всех присяга. И после сдачи присяги дня через два или три нас погрузили в автобусы и повезли в сторону польской границы. Перейдя польскую границу, нас погрузили по автобусам и повезли в аэропорт. Аэропорт мы тоже прошли ускоренно, погрузили в самолет, полетели в Британию. Когда мы полетели в Великобританию, мы приземлились в Салисбери. Где-то в полчаса от него. It was a military base about half an hour again away, as far as I know, it was called Five Rifle. We were introduced to the instructors who was assigned to us. Edwin was originally with us. Edwin and Craig. We were introduced to them and they started talking, taking us to locations. Strained. So we rotated. There the Russians will provide also, I, I, I will keep uh, allowing this to roll, but I'm just saying he's gonna, the Russians in this article, on one of the two articles, gonna te tell us the name of this guy and all that. Now, if that's true or not, but nevertheless, let's get going. Start over. Oh, it went all the way, Jesus Christ. We don't like that thing. We're back in business. Oh, that's what it is. Actually, where it stopped. I thought it just it ended because uh, I did something wrong. So here they are. Let me go um, further to see what uh, who this guy is and what else uh, the Russians are saying. The captured soldier testified about the development by UK instructors and the conduct of sabotage by the special forces of the armed forces of Ukraine on the ma marine platform, station platform 17 drilling rig, in order to seize technical means of accompanying fight, flights and unmanned aerial vehicles of the Russian armed forces during the assault. No equipment of interest the UK was found by Ukrainian saboteurs. The communication stations located on the platform was blown up the FSB said in a statement. Furthermore, the United Kingdom is actively providing Ukrainian special forces with intelligence equipment and new types of explosives, including experimental samples. Now, I'm going to go back. You might uh, say the Russians are bad, the Russians are, that's their fault, and the Russians are, okay, let's, uh, let's put it to the side. But, w let's say you are a Russian. And let's say you are on that side, okay, of the whole situation here. Now, wouldn't you consider someone else doing all that for your enemy, good or bad? I mean, good or bad, uh, meaning that it's your fault or not your fault. But the point is, wouldn't you consider that guy who helps this guy attack you being directly involved and actually fighting you directly using these guys? I mean, imagine, as I always say this, I make this analogy with uh, the neighbor and another neighbor. You fight this neighbor and that neighbor helps this neighbor to destroy you. Isn't that involved? That's the whole point. I'm not saying, oh, you, you're the, you're, it's your fault. Okay, let's say it's my fault. But still, I would consider that guy 100% involved in this for a good cause or for a bad cause. It doesn't matter. I, my point here is that guy is definitely involved, actively involved in my, oh, fighting me. So, should I kick him in the teeth? You bet I would. All right, let's move on. In addition to training sabotage groups, the United Kingdom is actively supplying intelligence equipment, new types of explosives, including experimental... Okay, we got this one. Previously, the Russian Fed Federal Security Services and the Defense Ministry prevented the landing of Ukrainian sabotage groups trained by the UK. They said this one, during the landing attempt, the sabotage groups were destroyed, while one Ukrainian soldier was captured alive. According to the FSB, the captured Ukrainian soldiers confirm that the saboteurs were trained in the UK. We know that. The captured soldier also named the UK instructors who had been training Ukrainian service people for a sabotage. This is, and I'm quoting, this is 
Edwin, this is Andrew and this is also Craig. In the background, there are the British instructors who had been training us in the United Kingdom, the man said, pointing at people in the photo. Ukrainian soldiers were receiving training at five rifle military base near the UK city of Salisbury. The captured man said the saboteurs were told to either destroy Russian soldiers or capture them in the course of the operation of the Tendrivska Kosa, the man added. I'm going to show you where that is because I know where that is. The sabotage was planned mostly as a propagandistic act and could not affect the situation on the battlefield in any case, an anonymous officer of the Russian Federation said. The FSB said that the Special Boat Service, the UK's Maritime Special Forces Unit, is supervising the activities of the Ukrainian military division behind such operations, which, and I'm quoting, indicates the direct involvement of the United Kingdom in the conflict. I don't think I had, and I have, I have no doubts, and I've said many times, I consider these guys 100%, 100% involved, uh, involved in, uh, in a war against the Russians. Now, let's say they're uh, the defenders of good or something, that's fine, but uh, uh, that would not change the, how should I put it, uh, um, would not change the fact that they are involved. So here is the Tendra split where we have this little uh, Kora Kora Pora Bora on the map. Here is where they try to land, kind of. That's why they say Tendra split. Let me show you. Here it is. Uh, let's do this in. So in this era, era area, and this here, this is where they wanted to to land. Or on the the other map would be on this here. This is the. As I know, I looked before over the name of that particular Kosa, uh, Tendrivka, Tendriska, Tendrivska, Koha, Kosa. Jesus Christ, break my tongue here. This area. So this is Kherson Oblast, Nikolaev over here. All right, so let's go to the second article Russia towards landing of UK trained Ukrainian saboteurs in Kherson region. Again, okay, UK trained Ukrainian saboteurs group of the pop up up, the same thing. And let's see, the FBS said it indicates the direct involvement of the United Kingdom in the conflict. No doubt about that. A captured Ukrainian soldier. Where did I see the name of this guy? I saw his name somewhere. I saw his name mentioned. I'm losing my mind or something. So like 30, I don't know where that is. I have to find again. I have to find it. A capture soldier, pop, pop, pop. Let's see. All right. I thought I was losing my mind, but I didn't because I had it on Russia Today, but I didn't, uh, <laughs> I don't know, put it on the screen. So Russia Today gives us the information, not Sputnik. But I give it the same information on this guy and they identify this captured Ukrainian... Uh, I don't know, saboteur, troop, whatever you want to call him. British trained commando held after botched Ukrainian sabotage up Moscow. And we have it here. Now, this is the, I'm not going to play that. It says right here. I know I saw the guy at 30, age 38, I said 34. The Ukrainian combat com comba combatant was identified in the statement as Evgeny Gorin, age 38. He and his fellow commandos from the 73rd Naval Special Purpose Center of the Ukrainian Special Operation Forces were intercepted by Russian troops when they try, try to land at the Tendra Spit along sandbar in the Black Sea in the Kherson region. So this is the guy. Gogin confirmed during the interrogation. So finally, this is the guy. Now, that's what they say. I don't know. I mean, I can bring a guy and tell you and who's going to uh, follow up you. I can bring my uncle here and say this is the guy I don't know who knows that uncle i don't know 20 people on this planet uh, will they have access to contradict what i say no how they, will you find out you will never find out anyway unless you have some people who really really invest a lot of money to find out and they could so here it is my friends uh no doubt that these guys were involved the great uh, the, the great Britain, uh, uk is involved and others as i said one bullet sent to my 
the guy I'm fighting, you are involved. And if I can, I will slap you or smack you or knock you out or send you to visit your ancestors. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. So here we have this uh, uh, attack that was uh, thwarted and the interview interrogation. And that's it. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.